Welcome back to Dragon Sphere. When we last left off, we finally got our shifter ring back, and we can now turn into a bear, a seal, or a snake. We now have everything we need to go to the spirit plane. Finally, something we've heard about since one of the earlier episodes. We can finally go there now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make our way across. Oh, that reminds me, I almost forgot about this. We actually have another vision that we can see here in the cave. So let's see what it is. Oh. Lovely. Just what uh just what I wanna see. That sounds like a bad idea. Let's uh <laughs> let's pretend we didn't see that. Mm. Hello bone tree. <laughs> Spell shield is still there. Trapped that poor guy. Not even any of his other tentacles are still there. I wonder if it like made us like a s complete sphere around him, <laughs> so that just he's completely trapped in that bubble with nothing to eat, and he's gonna slowly starve. That could be a shifter for all we know. Hmm. Ah, much better. Alright, back to Subtus Ecliptus. I believe I can speed this up, can't I? I guess I can't. Keep going. Hmm. I'm curious what happens to the people that vanish. Hmm. I guess it's because you don't need them anymore. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the shaman here. Hello again. Remember me? Of course, traveler. The flesh exterior you wear, we see past. To us, you look the same as you always did. And you, we remember. What can we do for you? I've got a spirit bundle. I have a spirit bundle. If you wish to give it to us, we will accept it as payment and take you to the spirit plane where you can rescue your lost king soul. That would be very, very, very helpful. Thank you so much. I will give you the bundle. Then we shall take you to the spirit plane. Prepare yourself. I'm preparing. Um, tell me about the trials. Please tell me something about the trials, I'll spirit plane. Apparently there's an echo in this world. I forgot about that. To reach the gods you desire, you must pass through trial three. The first is a maze. There the sorcerer wicked might have helped, for he was known to have passed through the spirit plane. Alas, you must run away with him. We can help no more in that. Oh. Whoops. Anything else? Please tell me something about the trials I'll spirit plane. After passing the maze of fire, you will come across the trial of Deep. The lore of the spirit plane says, To defy the beast, you must call upon the beast within you. That is all we know of the Okay. Anything else? Please tell me something about the trials I'll spirit plane. The next trial is the most difficult of all. The guardian of the egg. We know not what it is, but it must be extracted from the guardian's past. And it must be seized by a substitute for the treasure it guards. 
Uh, anything else? Please tell me something about. No, no more to tell you. You must make your way to the world the world has spoken already. Luck, good, good. Thank you. All right. I'll try to accomplish my quest now. Luck, good, good. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and. Oh, look. Yay. <laughs> Doesn't this look familiar? Is it, no, it's not this parchment. It's uh, this one. We, do, we are doing it a little bit differently now this time. Up, 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 up. No falling. There is no falling in this maze. <laughs> there we go. See? Much better. Oh. Snakes. The hollowed out part of this bizarre ledge is filled with slithering snakes. You have no idea what they eat or why they don't crawl out. Here on the spirit plane, there are no explanations. At any rate, there's no way to cross without subjecting yourself to the snakes. Luckily for me, I've got this wonderful ring down here that lets me turn into a snake. Why well, aren't I fancy looking? I'm like that cobra rope snake. It certainly felt strange crawling all over those scaly bodies, but while you were in their own form, the snakes left you alone. I would hope so. Oh, I would hope so. Let's see. Let me scroll. Nope. All right. Let's hope it gives me enough time to do this fast enough. Um. All right. Let's take a look at this rock. What a magnificently strange bird! It looks like something of a red heron, but you're sure of its significance, so that can't be it. A concordant? Whatever type it is, these giant birds of legend are more than often just called rocks. This one is busy eating the magic grapes and watching over the egg in its nest. Let's take a look at this egg. Oh, it's a soul egg. Hmm. There it is, the object of your quest. It looks pretty insignificant, but to the king it's the most important thing in two worlds. Let's take a look at these magic grapes as well. The bunch of grapes regenerate itself constantly, clearing, clearly there is magic involved. So long as the magic grapes are there to be fed, the never-ending hunger of the rock, it will be impossible to distract him from his duty as guardian of the soul egg. I really want to know how the soul egg got here in the first place. Hmm. Let's just kind of slowly make our way a little bit closer and um... Please don't hate me. Please, please don't hate me. But, um, I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. I don't know what that said, but here I have to throw the dates at the rock because all the magic is gone. Now I have to very quickly take the soul egg. You've got it! The rock was distracted long enough for you to get your prize. And now I need to scroll back up here and uh, put the black sphere on the rock's nest. Okay, and quickly back away. Oh, and I missed that other dialogue again. <laughs> I believe it was simply congratulating me for getting the egg and replacing it. And he'll be none the wiser, you know, assuming he ever swallows those sticky dates. I'm really sorry. 
Having successfully navigated the way already, finding our back is very simple. Um, we have nothing else I to do. I will return. Very well. Very well. Very well. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. If you do not prepare, you will be late. Uh, and that is all that we have to do at Sloth and er, sorry, not at Sloth and Lee, but on at Sultus Ecliptus. We don't have a reason to come back anymore, unfortunately. Oh, you're taking so long. Time to return to a place we haven't been to in a very long time. And the place that'll probably try to kill us on sight. Ooh. Old varlet, you're the one I was warned to watch for. Oh, everything's empty. Uh -oh. And you don't like me. So you've come back, as the Queen Mother said you would. I have to arrest you. You're a wanted criminal, you know. But I, I did everything good. Why arrest me? I've done only good for Grand Kalahak. My sources say you're a shape changer, and you helped the sorcerer kill the king so that you could take his place. What good is there in that scheme? I'm arresting you in the name of the Queen Mother. Well, I mean... But I didn't kill the king. He's alive. It's true that I'm a shape changer, but you admit it, Silt. You'll pay dearly for your crimes. This is an oblivion. You're not the Imperial Guard. But I certainly didn't kill the king. Oh no? Then where is he? He went off on a quest to slay the sorcerer, and no one has heard from him since. Eh? Speak up if you know something, Knave. I'm so I'm trying to do. That's my mission now. To find him and save him. So you say. What reason have I to trust this story? Because the Queen Mother's evil? Don't you see? Your lord, the Queen Mother, is evil. Fine words from one accused of killing the king. But there have been some strange goings on lately. I don't know. Is there something I could give you to let me go? The only thing in the world I truly want you cannot give me. Or can you? Let's take a look at her real quick. The guard captain is looking at you intently with an expression that is half wistful and half angry. Uh, I don't know if you noticed on the portrait and I didn't think to point it out, I apologize, but she actually has a scar on her face. So why don't we go ahead and take care of that scar. Closing your eyes, you concentrate on health and rightness. The right scar suddenly wiggles of its own accord, and then the tough dead flesh begins to melt away back into the body as the jagged edges of the wound knit together perfectly. Is this what you wanted? Yes. Yes, I can feel that you've done it. The scar is gone. How does it look foolish? Am I normal? Of course. You're lovely. Have you got a mirror? No. No, I don't want to look. Not yet. Tell me first, why did you do it? Why did I do it? What difference does it make? It makes a difference. I must know why. It's important. Speak quickly. Why did you do this thing for me? We didn't know it's what she wanted, so we can't really say that. <laughs> this is probably true, but that's not a good thing to say to a woman. To prove that shape changers can be good. Aye, and that was the test I set for thee. You've 
shown that your heart is not as black as the Queen Mother would have me believe. I trust you, Changer. I will do what I can to help you, but I must be very careful. I cannot let you into the castle. They would know that I had helped you, and a new captain would take my place. But listen, you can enter the catacombs through the well if you can find a way to climb down safely. Go with Cal. I understand. Leave everything to me. And thank you. Thank you. There is one more thing I require of you. Oh? What's that? Put it back. I beg your pardon? You have the power to remove the scar. Now put it back. Can I do that? Why would you want that? It is how I've always been. A part of me. Practically since birth. It is not right not to have it. It is not me. I ask you to heal me, to test your kindness and abilities. Not because I hate the way I look. I wear that scar now as a badge of honor and pride. It is mine. Give it back to me. All right, all right, I got it back. Chick stick the scars, okay. eh? Okay, but I don't know if you really believe your own words. Are you sure you want me to do this? You see far more than I would wish, Changer. Do as I ask, quickly. It's my decision. All right, all right. Okay, I wouldn't have this kind of courage. Yeah. Perhaps. It is not so much courage as truth. I don't know. I always kind of imagine Pid is kind of like a coward. Okay. We should still have the um, belt on, so I shouldn't need to do anything with it. As you set the belt more firmly around your hips, you feel an odd sensation, as if the wind had suddenly blown you almost off your feet. Let's go ahead and jump down the well. And we float down. Now why don't we take this uh, rare coin over here. We can see some glowing blue over there. The coin comes easily off from the moist earth of the riverbank. It is caked with the muck of a generation, but it's still quite valuable. There's a trap door and a ward. Yeah, look at the ward from over here. This area of the wall glows with a magical green light. It looks like a spell barrier hiding something set into the wall. Now let's go ahead and um, shift into a seal. And we will go ahead and cross the river here. Sure, thank you. And let's look at this trap door here real quick. Let's see. I believe this is the one, right? Hmm. There's something I need to do here something I needed to set down. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. come back to you in a minute. I want to say that I actually missed something. And since I can easily traverse this, let me just see something real quick. I think I missed this last time I played. So I okay, it won't let me go anywhere else. Is it over here then? No. Okay. Then I guess I was right. Sorry about that. Okay. 
I want to say if you don't put the statue down, those spearheads will kill you when you get off. Alright, let's uh, take a look around the corner. In the gloom, all you can really make out is a shape in the darkness. Just this much is enough to awaken all your instinctive fears, all your dreads of every monster that ever hid beneath a child's bed and terrorized his dreams. It is unnatural and magical, this fear. You cannot fight nor pass by this demon of the darkness. However, we do have the name. So I believe we need to head, um, not too close because he'll kill us, but close enough to speak the words. Look how terrified he is. Though the look of the beast still fills you with dread and loathing, the use of the secret name has sent it cowering back in its corner. You sense that it can no longer emerge to but evil you. The way is clear to pass. And now that he is gone, I'm going to stop here and we will continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful night.